With a vast array of classes offered in our schools, there are numerous ways for students to learn. And when our buildings had to be closed, our teachers stepped up and ensured that our students would continue to learn. Hello and welcome to another episode of One Tray at Home, a limited podcast series featuring interviews with teachers and where we learn how education can take various forms. I'm your host, creative content producer, Thomas Butcher. I've also got my colleague, Adam Burns, here to host the episode with me. Adam, welcome back. Thanks, Thomas. This is going to be fun. It's like our maiden voyage uh, doing this (laughs) together. Uh, Our guest today is a chemistry teacher at Troy High School. Welcome aboard, Katie Robles. Hi, Thomas. Hey there. So, Katie, uh, thanks for joining us. And uh, how's it going these days? Are you managing well? Um, I'm doing okay. I have three kids, five, six, and 10. So they're in school. So that's kind of tricky teaching kindergarten, first grade, and fourth grade on top of teaching high school chemistry and organic chemistry. Wow. That, my kids are similar age and I'm, I'm very impressed that you're still trying to teach them. I feel like I gave, this past week I just gave up. It, it, we had a wall. <laughs> you know, I gave up on the little one because he was like the kindergartner, but the other two, I was like, I got to keep pushing. So. So along with that, knowing what you're dealing with on, I guess the home front um, and then teaching chemistry, man, if if there was one class I would not want to be teaching during all this, I think chemistry would be at the top of my list. So tell us about like, how's it been going? What's it look like? You know, what are you still able to do since we can't get into a lab with our potions and chemicals and, and do all those fun things? What have you been able to put together? We do miss the potions and the chemicals for sure, because we're left with not the most exciting part of chemistry, which is the, the math and the discussions about atoms and particle drawings. But um, we've done the best we can with virtual labs. We've also had some chemistry teachers go in uh, to their classrooms and run the labs for the kids so the kids can watch them do the labs um, and they're like familiar faces rather than just, you know, random YouTube videos. So that's, that's worked pretty well. Um, and then we just, we give the kids data to manipulate at home. But yeah, for sure, it's not the same as it is in the classroom. Is there anything that you're pleasantly surprised about all of this as you moved forward? Like, were you kind of down about it, but then you're like, oh, this isn't so bad. Is there anything like that going on? Uh, For sure. I would say, so I'm a tech chair at Troy High and um, getting people, you know, going with Schoology has been difficult over the past few years. And now when they got thrown into it, I think that people really started to flourish and do some things that were unexpected in their classrooms and really use different types of technology that I didn't expect. So that has been really good. And with, with all this, the the COVID stuff, it probably doesn't naturally fit into chemistry, but I don't know if any colleagues, has it become a topic or a subject matter as part of any of the courses that you're aware of? Uh, Absolutely. In biology, I mean, I was texting with some of my biology friends and I said, gosh, I wish I was teaching biology right now. And instead she texted back, well, look at what you can do in organic chemistry. So I was able to incorporate it a little bit into organic chemistry, talking about the molecules and how viruses interact with each other. So yeah, absolutely. So you talked about Schoology a little bit, but how much communication has there been with your fellow educators at Troy High over these past couple of months? Is it a constant team effort or more divide and conquer? What's that look like? Uh, for my personal experience, it's been a team effort. Uh, we have text messages going all day. We have a Schoology group that we upload things to where we share and we're collaborating. So we really haven't stopped talking to each other at all and really leaned on each other during this time, I would say. And you talked too about your colleagues. Um, I think you, I read your message in the group yesterday about it seems like we've moved forward more in two months than we have in five years where we've been with Schoology and it's pretty accurate. Um, Anything else like, like that or, you know, different things that you've tried or heard have been tried that you hope continue to carry on once we are able to return? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think that just by being thrown into it, they had 
you know, certain people had no other choice other than to embrace it. And like I said, they leaned on each other and they were able to find out what other people had been doing in their classroom. And I've heard a lot of feedback. I, you know, oh, I didn't even think about doing this. I will be doing this next year, whether we're virtual or not, just ways that they can improve their classroom that they found out from being in this environment, really. How about like with students, you know, I, I'm, I'm very interested, especially like for say organic chemistry, which I'm in a stereotype and figure is a very <laughs> particular kind of student wants to sign up for organic chemistry. Um, what's the feedback from them been like since we've had to shift into this uh, distance learning? Well, like you mentioned before, the labs, the labs are a huge part and they're gone. So I've had to take that and replace it with something else. Um, so I've taken the approach more looking at like environmental impacts of chemistry and green chemistry. So I've actually had the opportunity to explore different things in that class. And the kids seem interested. Um, you know, I've had them do small projects and on Flipgrid, they have to do discussions. So um, I think that they have discovered that you know, maybe they're interested in some other things other than just studying organic chemistry and getting ready to be doctors. So, <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Robles, thanks for chatting with us today. I hope you enjoy the rest of the school year. And uh, before we started the episode, you had mentioned that you had your kids off in a different area of the house so that they wouldn't be distracting. So I hope you're looking forward to the upcoming summer break where you'll get to be outside more. Yes, absolutely. It's raining today, which is not good with three little boys stuck in a house. So, listeners, the before, rainy day ruined everything. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, yeah, the rain, the, rainy the day rainy just, it, it's it's awful. <laughs> All bets are off. Yes, for sure. <laughs> listeners, before we go, don't forget you can subscribe to TSD World Class Podcasts on your favorite podcast platform where you'll find all kinds of content and resources. You can also connect on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you for listening and be well.